Today's collectible spot, we'll be having a look at the Buff Monster Ice Cream Flavor Ways Mini Figures. Collect them all for a limited time, limited edition flavor ways. These are really fun little characters. This comes to us actually from Buff Monsters, the same character, same company that produced the Buff Monster uh, trading cards. You remember Spot did a review of those. Uh, these are blind, to some extent, blind boxed vinyl figures or uh, art pieces. Um, when we open up the box, look how fantastic this looks. Actually, you know what? Spot's going to take a break. Hold on one second. Might as well do this in style. Spot's taking the liberty of opening up and putting the back panel there. That looks really neat. Not as neat, though, as how they're packaged. These are actually packaged in small ice cream containers. Little ice cream cups. On the front it says, Mind Style Buff Monster Ice Cream, uh, ice cream Flavor Ways Mini Figures. And some design on the sides. Warning, choking hazard, small parts, not intended for ch children under uh, 14. Uh, these are cardboard with a plastic rim to it, so it looks exactly like an ice cream uh, container, like an ice cream cup container. Um, opening up the first one, now we're going to get, uh, well, we got three, we got 12, we got 24 in this box. And we're going to go through and have a look at each and every one of these and see which ones we actually get. Excited? Spot is extremely excited. Let's get this first one opened up and we'll go from there. So popping the top off, and inside you've got yourself a bag, a little baggie. We're going to take ourselves a knife. In this case, I've got myself old red here. And just cut the first bag open. This is going to be an endeavor, so if you guys are wanting to stick around for a long review, you are, you are definitely in luck. The first flavor we got is coffee. Are you a fan of coffee ice cream? This is number 2 of 24. Or the, I guess the, the chances of getting it are 2 in 24. And let's open this guy up here. And you've got your very neat looking, very neat indeed. Is he a triple scoop? He's got himself some arms, and I can imagine these would be legs, or maybe he's sitting on something. On the back it says Buff Monster. Very cool. They're solid pieces too. They're not. Uh, they don't feel flimsy. I mean, they're a really durable piece. Personality though, he kind of looks like. Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse if he was an ice cream. Let's see who's, see who's going to join us on this journey. I'm sure Spot's black hole is going to be used quite a bit in this review, as Spot just tends to take things and throw it into the black hole, the abyss. My mirror self, I'm sure, is going to get quite a handful in this review. The next one we got here is, oh, Neapolitan. One in every 48 is Neapolitan. I tell you, I don't really care for Neapolitan. I really don't. I like chocolate, and I like strawberry, and I like vanilla in their own respected universes. When you start bringing them all together, that's when you have chaos. And that's chaos that I just don't like. This one is a single scoop. Now, the other one looked like he had a, re revisiting the coffee one, this one looked like he had his tongue out. This one looks like he's just more evil. That's what happens. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Neapolitan is evil. You can't, you can't bring three flavors together and expect them to coexist. Not to mention that when Neapolitan starts melting, it just turns into just a brown, muddy goo. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the next one here. This would be number three. Once again, Old Red, my knife. I'm going to get this cut open. And we got ourselves a vanilla. That's the way I go. You know what? As interactive as we tend to get on this channel, let me know down below. You know what? I could use my knife. You're absolutely right, Timothy. Thank you. Let me know down below what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Is it vanilla? Is it chocolate? Some scientists, I don't know, some studies, some government studies, you know, it's good to know that they put tax dollars to use. 
But some studies have said that depending on what ice cream flavor you like would say a lot about the kind of person that you are. I think they say that for people who like vanilla, you tend to be a little more of a thrill seeker, which is somewhat ironic because vanilla is such a, a plain flavor. I'm going to go one better though. I like French vanilla. I like French vanilla. This one's got horns and an eye patch. That's a good combination to have. Eye patch and horns, like some sort of devil pirate. I love it. Moving along to the next box, or the next cup. These cups are absolutely amazing. I love these things. What a way to package ice cream characters by having them in ice cream cups. So opening up the next one. The next one is Rocky Road. I had a couple of friends that loved Rocky Road. Not only the ice cream, but also driving on Rocky Roads. It was horrendous, especially when they drove. They would always go off into these dirt roads. And I would say, you know what, can we just go on regular regular uh, pavement, regular driveway? No, no, I like to go on rocky roads. I love the ice cream, and I love those rocky roads. You, you know me by now. And I said, yes, unfortunately, I do. This one is sprinkled, covered in debris. Delicious debris, and he's got one singular eye. That's how he rolls, and that's how my friends roll, rocky road. Moving along to the next cup. Pop the cup open. Oh, either one of two things is going to happen. This black hole is going to get extremely dirty, or whatever that doesn't make into the black hole, Rosalita is not going to be thrilled one bit. If you're new to this channel, Rosalita is my imaginary Spanish maid. This is orange sherbet, which coincidentally is Spot's other favorite flavor of ice cream. Vanilla and orange sherbet are the way I roll. Not on rocky roads, my friend, on smooth roads. There's three things that you just probably found out about Spot. I like smooth roads, I like orange sherbet, and I like French vanilla. I just bared my soul to you guys. There we have orange sherbet. He's a little lumpy. He's got three lumps on his head. He's a... I don't know if you can gauge it by light, but he's got a nice color of orange. A nice vibrant orange. That makes me want to eat it. Although I wouldn't be eating it because he has no flavor. Certainly don't put this in your mouth. That's one bit of advice I can give you guys. Opening up the next carton of ice cream. I also find it really funny when companies come out with... Which one we got here? Cookie dough. Ooh, speaking of other things I like. I always find it funny when companies release things as diet alternatives, and it doesn't really make anyone realize, well, maybe they're just diet alternatives because they're smaller. You ever think about that? They're just smaller. They just say, hey, we've got the light ice cream, and somebody goes in the store and says, oh, I'm going to go with the light. I don't want anything too heavy. No, I, no, I've got, I got a date. I got a date on Friday. I, I can't be eating anything heavy. So they go with the small tub. Meanwhile, they just don't realize that you're paying more, probably for the same ice cream, just in a smaller tub. You're welcome. We've just, we've just taken your money. Speaking of taking money, I would hand over money easily to get cookie dough. That's another flavor of ice cream I really like. Three flavors of ice cream covered in this review. I ask then to you, let me know down below your favorite ice cream. Cookie dough. Mmm, cookie dough. If I ever get a blizzard, and I'm mixing and matching companies here, but if I ever get a blizzard from Dairy Queen, I usually pick myself like cookie dough as a base, and then I add something else to it. Mint Oreo, I see your mint Oreo, I raise you cookie dough. Peanut butter cup, I see your peanut butter cup, you guessed it, I raise you cookie dough. What's the next one here? Strawberry. Strawberry. Fitting enough that the strawberry also has horns. I don't know what they say about people that eat strawberry, because those are people I just don't need to know. Strawberry's all right in my books. He's got horns, though. And three X'd eyes. Devilish. Devilish. Also, a bit of a chameleon. He's blending in. Can you even see him? He's against the, the board. Oh, there he is. There he is. He was blending in. No, he really wasn't spot. You're just making up stuff. Strawberry strawberry 
Opening up the next cup of ice cream. Delicious, delicious ice cream. I like ice cream sandwiches too. The way, you know, the way I'm talking, you would think that I'm about 700 pounds. I'm really not. I'm really, really not. It looks like we got ourselves another vanilla. Or Juanilla, as some people say. Juanilla. Vanilla. There you go. Eye patch. Complete. That's a good look. That's a good look. Van vanilla. Vanilla. The next cup. Sooner or later, we're going to have to come to terms with the fact that once these cups are all gone, this backboard is just going to fall. I did my best to keep it up, but I only kept it up using these ice cream cups. Once those cups are gone, well, I can't make any promises, because you know those promises will be broken quickly. We got ourselves another cookie dough. Perhaps for the sake of this, the duplicates here, I'll, I'll just keep in the bag so you guys don't have to be sitting through this thinking, oh God, Spot, I just want to see new flavors. Don't keep showing us the old flavor, Spot, for crying out loud. You love the child voices? You're welcome. It's an added... I don't even charge you for that. I just throw that in. That's free. We got ourselves another vanilla. Vanilla. Let's put that to the side. And grabbing a cup. Ah, oh, the back. The backboard's just going to fall all over us. Well, not all over you. You guys just have the joy of watching it slowly falling during the course of this review. Somebody in the back is like, yes, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's not falling yet. It'll fall, and when it falls, you know I'll be there. The next one is coconut. Hmm, not really feeling coconut. Coconut doesn't work for me, really, on any level. I'm gonna, I'm just, that's something else I want to throw out there. Coconut on a, like those, what are they, the billet logs, the billet, I don't know what you call them. The ones with the coconut, and they're just like jelly rolls. I love those things. But coconut in, a, in something like macaroons, I say no thank you. I say good day to you, sir. By comparison, somebody has asked, somebody in the background shouted it out. There's the vanilla. So this probably is a French vanilla. And then you've got coconut. Coconut's much lighter. He's also got three lumps. He's using the same mold as the orange sherbet. Coconut sh sherbet. Together, I don't know if that would really make a delicious ice cream. Not really an experiment I'm willing to invest in. I'll invest in some experiments. Like flying monkeys. You put you put a package together, you contact me. I'm interested. I don't really need to hear anything else. As soon as I hear flying monkeys, I'm interested. Got another coconut. Coconut. Sure, if I was on Fantasy Island, I'd be all over coconut ice cream. But then again, I'm not on Fantasy Island because that's a made-for-TV world. That world didn't exist. Oh, this one's oh, this one's different. We got ourselves mint chocolate chip. A favorite of many. Many people like mint and chocolate chip. Those two things go hand in hand. When you start incorporating orange and chocolate, that's another pass for me. That's no thank you. Where's my jacket? I need to go. I need to be elsewhere. Oh, come on, stay. No, I really don't want to. As soon as you had orange and chocolate in this conversation, my interest was gone. I was already thinking about things I'd rather be doing with my life. And there's mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip. Or MCC, if you want to abbreviate things, make things a little easier to say. Although you say MCC to somebody, they're going to be like, what? What's MCC? It's mint chocolate chip. Get with it. Get with the program. What else do we got here? The next one. Spot's rambling a lot in this review, and I apologize. A lot of rambling has been commencing during this review. Chocolate. Chocolate had to come into this sooner or later. He decided he wanted to come about halfway. About halfway. He's like, you know, I don't I don't need to wait to the end. I'm not I'm nothing exciting. I'm just an average ice cream. I, people love me, people add things to me. I'm just I'm just here for the for the whole excitement of it all. We have chocolate. Chocolate. I've got myself quite, I mean, forget Baskin Robbins. Spock could really open up his own ice cream for all the ice cream flavors that I'm forming on the side here. You can't see it, nor can you probably see the pile of garbage right here. 
I just received a letter during this review. It was from the black hole. Black hole has said, you know, you've added enough junk to me. I'm not taking any more. I'm not taking any more of your crap. Figuratively and literally. Bubblegum. Bubblegum is the next flavor. Let's open up bubblegum and see what see what we've got going with bubblegum. Ooh, now see, I like this color quite a bit. That's a vibrant pink. Like that's Bret Hart pink. Later Bret Hart. I think that's like Bret Hart when he had when he was like feuding with Steve Austin. That's that kind of pink. Not the lighter pink that he was from Hart Foundation. Wrestling and ice cream in one review? <laughs> Such a thing shouldn't exist, but it does here on the review spot. The next cup of ice cream, by the way, if you're now joining us, possible, it's somewhere in the universe it's possible, but if you're just joining us, Spot's been having a look at the Buff Monster Limited Edition Flavor Ways Ice Cream Characters. Next one we got is Chocolate. He was just here. He was literally just here. He, came, he already came to the party. Who are you? Chocolate Stranger. A clone, perhaps? Probably. Probably. Anyways, let's open up the next one. The next flavor is another coconut. Disregard. Disregard coconut. Opening up the next bag. The next cup. See, once again, there's the cups. That's a lot of care and effort put into this. I, I, I appreciate that. Jacob, you're absolutely right. Spot backdrop right now looks like a, a scene from an episode of Hoarders. Although I don't have to worry that the guy's going to have to stay the night. And then, like, you know, you have that night cam where the guy's just laying and he's trying to sleep. And he's like, what was that? Oh, it was probably a bug. It was probably a bug. That was mint chocolate chip, by the way, right here. Mint chocolate chip. Moving along. Let's see if we can get someone different. Someone else needs to come to this party. I feel like I'm getting the same batch of regulars. Stepping up to the plate, though, somebody new. Who's joining us? Lime. Lime. He kind of looks like the bad guy from, was it Raiders of the Lost Ark? He was, it was from one of the indie movies. He was just like a weasel guy. He was just like really slimy. Lime. Let's open up Lime. Lime is a nice vibrant color. I wonder if that's a lime sherbet. Sorbet. This one's got personality. Lots of personality. It also looks like a vampire. Like this one quite a bit. I think the, the colors on some of these are extremely vibrant. Sorry? Uh, we're, we're four away. Well, technically counting this one, we're five away. Let's open up the next bag. The next bag, 17 minutes into this review, we're having a look at another strawberry. Another strawberry, right there. Put that to the side. We're now four cups away. So what do you guys want to talk about? What's new in your world besides ice cream? I mean, we could talk about other things besides ice cream. I mean, we are going hand in hand through this together. Talk about sports. Spot really doesn't watch a lot of sports. Another lime. Another lime is joining us. It's A-OK -okay with me. Three cups away. Pop in the cup. Putting that to the side. Oh boy, Spot needs a longer desk. This desk has already been monop monopolized. Monopolized by debris. Can you see the debris already starting to form? It's kind of going like this throughout the course of this review. It was low, and luckily I benefited from the camera not catching it, but now it's been going like this. It's going like this. You guys are chuckling to yourselves looking at the mess that Spot is making. While we've been looking, though, this is another chocolate. I just wanted to open this. I just felt the need I wanted to open this. There we go. Another chocolate to join us on this journey. Oh, chocola. Yes, I know. Spots, Spots French is incredible. You should hear my Klingon one day. Opening up the next, the next pail. Is it a, would it be an ice cream pail? 
I want to really make sure I got the terminology down, although truth be told, we're near the end of this review, that terminology really wouldn't necessarily be a big issue, but anyways, there is another strawberry, another strawberry. Last, but not least, well it is last, let's open up the last ice cream tote, once again having a look at the Mind Style Buff Monster Ice Cream Characters. The last ice cream. The award for best ice cream goes to... Bag, please. The last flavor is... Rocky Road. Look who we've come back to. Rocky Road. And there's Rocky Road right there in his bag. <laughs> yes, he probably is suffocating. The last character right there. These are really fun collectibles. Spot, again, is going to provide all the information down below. If Spot didn't already mention in this review. I'm going to provide all the information down below. So if you wanted to check these out, certainly pick up not only the trading cards, but some of the other delicious things that they have going on over there. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the Mind Style Buff Monster Ice Cream Flavor Ways Mini Figures. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Though Spot's been rambling in this video, Spot's going to do a lot more rambling in other videos to come, so stay tuned for that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think I'm going to go call up my friends and we'll go on a rocky road journey eating some delicious ice cream. Thanks for watching. See you next time.